Hello there. This week the weather has not, not been very good at all and I've not had much a chance to get out with Lassie and do any filming outside. So this weekend I think I'm going to have to do some stuff indoors but that's handy because quite a few people have been asking me how I put the videos together so I thought maybe this weekend I'd do a little bit on that. So I hope, I hope you enjoy this and I hope it's useful to you. So quite a few of you have asked in the comments how do I go about constructing my videos with the, the different screens and how to put them together. So I've answered the question quite a few times in comments and I've gone at some length. But I thought instead of having to uh, keep, keep typing the same answers or copying and pasting, which I don't really like to do, I thought I'd do a short video on how, well it may turn out to be quite a lengthy video actually, on how I uh, record my videos and then how I construct them using Final Cut Pro. There's probably a lot better ways to do it in Final Cut Pro. There are shortcuts and better methods. I use the methods that I've found best to me and I've just discovered them myself. I'm kind of self-taught. I've watched a few YouTube videos to get ideas and tips, but I, I use the things that, that suit me best. But I'll really be grateful for any comments for of any of you guys that use Final Cut Pro and can show me how to do what I do a little bit better. But anyway, the way I do things is there's normally three screens on my videos. First of all is the screen that you're looking at now, which will be me doing the, the Scots waffle. Jabber, 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 talking a lot of nonsense. <laughs> and then there's another two screens. Uh, one of those will be the, the, the 4K, usually 4K screen from Lassie. So I'll fire everything up just now and I'll get Lassie up and then I'll add in that screen. So the order you're supposed to do things is you're supposed to have iPad or iPhone on first and fire up the DJ app, DJI app and then put on your controller and then put on the drawing. This is the order that people recommend on YouTube. I've tried them, <laughs> tried to turn them on in all different ways and it, it works but if you want to follow a procedure so that you've got a, a nice neat order for things it's, it's not a bad way to do things, I suppose. All you have to do then is, as usual, wait for the, the DJ app to light up. Eventually it will. And we'll give Lassie a wee lift off now and hope she doesn't hit the tripod. <laughs> but what we'll do is I'll start recording the, the Lassie's screen. So you're now going to see, I'll put that on the screen, you're now going to see what what, 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 we, what we see from her view. And here's a wee thing that might be interesting to you. Uh, I know to, to, to start the motors it's normally both down and inside, but because I've reversed this this stick here, uh, the way I, I would start them is I'd do that. And you probably heard Lassie there starting up. And that's because I've, I've, I've reversed this stick here. And if I pull back, Lassie goes up. Okay, so the view from Lassie is right there. <laughs> So now you'll have two screens. You'll have the screen that I'm waffling on, the screen that last recording, and the third one that I use is the screen recording on the iPad or iPhone itself. So once that starts, you'll now have that one added in, and that is the screen that I see with all the telemetry on it. So once you have those three screens, you can manipulate them. I'll, I'll turn Lassie off because she's really loud at the moment. Sorry me darling, you have to, have to be quiet for a minute. There we go, so that's that's a bit quieter. I'll still, leave, I'll still leave a view on so you can, you, you can kind of see. Oh, in fact, I'll move it a little bit so that we can get a better view there. wonder if she'll be able to look out the window. Yep. 
Oh wow! So that so right. So that's on man, manual settings there. That that's what, there's a good example of. I'll come down here again. There's a good example of what a manual setting is like without a filter on. Okay, now if I flick to auto, I'll have to stop recording to do that. And if I, if I flick to auto, there we go. So there, there, there's with auto settings on. But once again, with auto settings, as you turn, you, you get that whole change in brightness that I'm not keen on. So anyway, I'll sit lazy down and try not to stray, stray off the point I was getting at. Uh, so, these are the three screens. What I, what I then tend to do is, during the video, I will resize... Well, I'll show you. Let, let's fire a Final Cut Pro up and I'll, I'll take you through the process on screen. So here we have a few files loaded in. This is this first one I recorded yesterday. Hello there. This week the weather has not, not been very good at all. And you'll see that coming up. This next one I just recorded. This is, has been recorded this morning from my narration camera. So quite a few of you have asked in the comments. And if you see, I've then added in, on top of that, this is the, the screen from, I'll just turn it just put the audio down on that one for the moment. This is this, this screen here is a screen that uh, came directly from from Lassie's camera. Now this isn't snow by the way, and that dust I couldn't see. It's tiny, tiny little particles of dust. The house is very clean. My wife house cleans at least twice a day, uh, but Lassie threw up some dust that was invisible to the eye. But because the sun sun was shining through the window. <laughs> It caught it and made it look really bad. Okay, and this third, third screen up here, this is the one from the, uh, the the screen recording. So basically, you just layer them on top of each other, and you you can you resize each one. Like I'll, 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 for example, I'll show you how I resize the the screen recording here, and I quite. Well, first, let, let me first of all resize Lassie's view. Let's get it to a better position here. So if I'm going to resize Lassie's view, I would highlight it. Um, th this isn't going to be a, an FCP tutorial, but uh, I would I would highlight it. And then, let's see, we'll have it 100%, which is going to fill the screen completely. And then I would I I like to layer on top the uh, the screen recording, so I would always, I would do the same there. With the screen recording screen, I like to layer it on top too, so I'd probably have that at hundred percent. So there, it's it's right over the top, and if you see what happens when I start playing. That's the way my, my videos normally look. And if I want to just suddenly cut the uh, the screen recording screen so that you can only see the camera view, what I would tend to do is I, I would put a, put a cut here. And at the point where I wanted the screen recording to disappear, I would just make that one. I would disable that one. So as it comes along, as it comes along here, you have both screens. And then it comes to the point where you, I just want to see the scenic view. There we go. There's the scenic view. And at, and at any point at all, you can you can you can bring in any of the three screens that you want. So that's the way I tend to make my my uh, videos. <laughs> and of course, the audio, which I record using the Rode Wireless Go, which you can just you can just see here on my. You can just see here on my on my T-shirt. That's the lav, and I always keep the dead cat's paw on, on the lav, so that I don't have to pop change it 
uh, if I'm going outside or inside, it just stays on all the time. So that's how I make my videos. I hope that was helpful to you. This wasn't an FCP tutorial. There's plenty of those online, but that's that's how I go about constructing the three screens on my on my videos. So there you go. See you next. See you in the next one.